Hello, friends. Many of you have probably seen German military equipment from World War Roman II, either in photographs or in documentaries, and I'm sure you remember the white cross that was painted on it. Does this cross have a direct connection to the Nazis? And what does it mean? This unique white cross is called the Balkan Cruise, or Beam Cross. It appeared long before the start of World War Roman II when there were no Nazis in German territory yet. It was invented in Prussia back in 1813 and was used as a reward for liberating Prussia from Napoleon. The shape of the Iron Cross was intentionally chosen to resemble the cross of the Teutonic Order. Later, the Prussian National Cross passed to the German Empire and in World War I, it began to be prominently displayed on the wings and tails of German aircraft. The Balkan cruise was officially recognized as the symbol of the German Imperial Air Service. Thanks to this emblem, military vehicles and aircraft were easily distinguishable from enemy equipment on the ground and in the air. When the Nazis came to power in 1933 under Hitler's leadership, they decided not to abandon the Prussian Cross. In 1935, new standardized dimensions for the cross were adopted. During the invasion of Poland in 1933, the Balkan cruise represented a large white cross with rectangular sides of equal length. However, the first battles revealed that these white crosses made the vehicles highly visible and excellent targets for anti-tank guns. As a result, many tank crews of the Wehrmacht began camouflaging them with mud. In response, the so-called Open Cross was introduced, identical to the crosses applied to Luftwaffe aircraft. With the start of combat operations, in North Africa in February 1941, the Balkan cruise was slightly modified. It turned out that the white open cross was not very visible on the yellow-brown desert camouflage, so the center of the cross was painted black. From February 1943, this variant of the cross was applied to all armored vehicles of the Wehrmacht. From that time onwards, the standardized dimensions of the Balkan cruise crews were set at 20 cm in width and 25 cm in height. This variant of the cross remained on German military vehicles until the end of the war. The depiction of the Iron Cross and military equipment is also used in modern German armed forces. The Bundeswehr, the cross, inherited the white outlines from the old Balkan crews, which do not connect at the ends of the forearms. If you found this information interesting, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. That way you won't miss any new videos. This was Dad and I. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. 40.